Sige, pot, pot, pot. Pasubukan ka natin dito. Okay? Uy! Alay, kagaling namang magpot dito. Ay siya! Akala kasi! Dalawa lang eh. Akala kasi! Mapansik na. Ulit! Di pa po ang putok! Okay. Hala, sabay-sabay! Okay. Ayan. Sige, start na tayo mga kapatid. Pwede na. May kabag ako. So, around 20 to 30 minutes na lang nasa Meets Pira muna tayo. Pero para mas maganda, magkaroon na tayo ng introduction or overview na ating pagkalakbay, especially itong land of Israel. So, okay na ba sa inyo? Hibip! Hooray! Di ka mas malakas! Hastas mo na ng kamay para ayos tayo dyan! Ayan. So, praise God sa pagkakataon na ito. It's a privilege and opportunity para sa ating lahat na makabasyal sa Bansang Israel. At siyempre, maliban sa tayo makabasyal dito sa Bansang Israel, sa pang pagapala na habang tayo ay nandito sa Bansang Israel, tayo po ay makarating sa bawat lugar na napaka-important sa Bansang Ito, daw na kapag ito ay related sa Saita ng Panginoong Diyos. Tama? Tama. So kaya sa pagkakatong ito, we're going to give you some details concerning the geographical information about the land of Israel. So first of all, Nandito po yung ating uh, papa. Pasensya na kayo. Maaga pa. Ito na yung pinakamaagang pagdi-discuss na kinakabos sa bus. Okay? Uh, most of the time, we're going to discuss inside the bus kasi alam ko na mainit sa mga no? Okay? Lalo na mamaya. So, we have the map of Israel. Ito yung isa sa updated na mapa ngayon na meron sa Israel. Okay? Meron dito nga description kung saan yung uh, land of the Philistine o yung territory nila. At nandito rin naman kung saan yung area ng territory which belongs to the state of Israel. But first of all, concerning the total land area ng Israel, ito po ay umaabot ng 22,145 square kilometers. So ganyan, ganyan lang ang size ng Batsang Israel at may habig ulit natin ang Batsang Israel sa halos sukat lang ng Palawan sa ating Batsang Pilipinas. And that is my home province. Okay, so 22,145 square kilometers, that's the total land area ng Israel. And the longest distance from the north going to the south, ang pinakamahabang distance na ito ay 420 kilometers. And then, pinakamalapat na, na area mula dito sa dulo ng Gaza, hanggang dito naman bago uh, marating yung bansa ng Jordan, yung ter territory ng Jordan. Ang pinakamahabang distance dyan ay 115 kilometers. So, 115 kilometers times uh, 420, we get the total of 22,145 square kilometers. So, klaro mga kapatid? Klaro. Right. Amen? So, ngayon, what else? What do we need to learn from the map of Israel? Okay? So, first of all, itong kabuhuan ng Israel ay divided into three major region. And this is divided into three major regions. And what is that? So first of all, we have the northern region. The northern region. And the northern region is also divided into three categories. At ano po yun? We have the upper Galilee. And basically, ang famous place niyan sa upper Galilee ay walang iba kundi ang Mount Hermon which is, uh, it is considered as the second, uh, the third site kung saan tinimpang Panginoon sa Kristo. And then another famous site dito sa sa Upper Galilee ay walang iba kundi ang uh, si Sarja Pilipa ay kung saan sinabi ng Panginoon sa Kristo, Peter, upon this run, I will build my church and the gates of hills shall not prevail against it. So pagkatapos ng Upper Galilee, dadako naman tayo dito sa Central Galilee and the famous destination in that area is no other than but the Sea of Galilee or the Lake of Tiberias or the Sea of Tiberias or the Lake or Sea of Kinneret. So maraming tawag dyan sa iyo na I think 5 or 6 yung katawagan dyan. So tinatawag yung Kinneret kasi nga it derives from the shape of a Kinnor. Alam din yung kanyang Kinnor? Oh, research nyo na lang yan. Paano may asahimik naman 
<laughs> okay, and then so yung sa violin, okay, yung violin shape, okay. So ayan, uh, and then nandiyan yung Capernaum, and nariyan din yung Tabga, at marami pang mga biblical places na nangyab dito sa Central Galilee. And for our basic information, around 60 to 70 percent ng ministry ng Panginoong Sukristo, it happened in the, in, in the region of Galilee. So, pinakamaraming nangyari sa buhay ng Panginoong Sukristo, yung kanyang pangangaral, magme-miracle, nangyari yan dito sa Galilee. So, Upper Galilee, Central Galilee, and then we have the Lower Galilee. At ang pinaka-famous na lugar sa Lower Galilee ay walang iba kundi ang Nazareth, Mount Precipice, nandiyan yung Bechian, at nariyan yung Mount Gilboa kung saan namatay si King Saul. So, these are the significant uh, places that we need to remember in the first region, which is the northern region of Israel. So, after natin ng uh, northern region, we will come to the second one, and this one is called the central region of Israel. So, central region is very significant, especially nandiyan yung Jerusalem, okay? Nariyan yung uh, Jericho, nariyan naman yung uh, nandito sa, uh, sa southern end ng central region, uh, Beersheba, which is pupunta natin yung may nariyan yung Hebron. Ito mga lugar nito ay hyper-biblical at dapat na marating ng bawat isa. And most of all, dito sa central region, if you are familiar, baka narinig na nyo, lagi kami nagpapatrip dito, yung city of Nablus. Okay, Nablus, uh, famous na ito ngayon sa mga Pilipino pagdating sa mga alahas. But way back in the Old Testament time, Nablus is one of the very significant places na dapat na marating. Bakit? Kasi nung makapasok na sila Joshua dito sa land of Canaan, at Nablus ngayon, which is Shechem, mas kilala siyang Shechem noon, ito yung pinaka-center of the promised land. Okay? So, Nablus or Shechem, that is the center of the promised land. Or should I give you another quote? Sa aking pag-aaral, ang tawag ko po sa lugar na ay the heartland of the promised land. Yan ang pinaka-puso ng lupang pangako. Kapag hindi mo narating itong Nablus, or yung Samaya or yung Shechem, hindi mo talaga narating ang pinaka-sentro ng lupang pangako. Yung pinaka-puso niya. Okay? So, parang itong katawan nito, this is your body, but the center is your heart. So, this is the land of promise, okay, yung central region, but the center or the heart is in Shechem or in Nablus. So, dito sa Shechem, especially in Ilum More, uh, dyan, pangalawang beses nagpakita ang Diyos kay Abraham. Una sa Haran, Okay, and then kinawag siya ng Diyos at nung siya'y makarating dito sa land of Canaan, the first appearance of God to Abraham here in the land of promise is there in Elon Morin. So, hindi po pwedeng mamasyal dyan ng Sabado. Kaya I'm going to have a tour Sunday. Pag nakita niyo yun, try to make a day off on Sunday for you to have a chance na marating ang Elon Morin. Pagkatapos, nandito sa Central Region, ang isa sa very famous place pa at ito ay walang iba kundi yung Shilo. Ang Shilo, ang katumbas niyan ngayon ay ang Jerusalem. Bago pa naging uh, eternal city, naging spiritual center ang Jerusalem, ang center of worship na mga Israelites ay walang iba kundi sa Shilo. At dito sinet up ang tabernacle noong panahon ni Joshua sa Shilo. Okay? So kaya uh, very important uh, destination yan. Lawan na kung talagang gusto mong uh, lumakad according to the scriptures or according to the word of God or walk through the Bible. Okay? So, we have the central region at marami pang mga bagay na nariyan. Okay? So, upper, uh, upper region, uh, northern region, central region, syempre, yung ating pinanggalingan Tel Aviv, that is part of the central region. Okay? And then, pagkatapos natin sa central region, kung makita nyo ito yung black line nito, okay? Or yung patulis na lang na yan kasi yan yung dulo ng gasa. So, mula dyan, bakit dito hanggang sa ilat, ang tawag naman dyan ay Southern Region. Okay? And what are the significant places na meron dito sa Southern Region? Well, medyan yung Beersheba, pumunta natin mamaya. That is the city of the seven whales or the city of the seven lambs. And then, uh, nandyan din naman mga kapatid yung, uh, ano to, yung Arad. And Arad is called Hurma in the Old Testament time. At dito lang ipaglaban ng mga Israelites. And then we have also, yung pupuntaan natin, 
At ngayon, okay, in a while, yung Mitspiramon. Okay? Sana yung Mitspiramon. This is Mitspiramon. Okay, Mitspiramon. Hindi ko alam kung gaano katindi yung magdipaying lens ng inyong mga mata. <laughs> so, this is Mitspiramon. Para may background lang kayo, no? Kasi no, may overlooking natin yung, uh, yung crater. And that is the biggest crater in the land of Israel. For, uh, it was formed because of geological uh, movements. And th this is the biggest geo geological movement in the land of Israel. Now, kapag nandun ka na sa panoramic view, mamaya, just to give you an idea, yung valley na yun na yung matatanaw, o yung valley na matatanaw ng Bobya sa atin, that is part of the wilderness of Paran. Okay, with Spiramon, and all these things that you're going to see in in the uh, panoramic view, that is the wilderness of Paran. And wilderness of Paran is significant in the wilderness wandering of the Israelites. Wala dito sa wilderness of Paran, somewhere here, naglakbay si ng Moses kasama yung napakaraming Israelites papunta dito sa Cadiz Barnea. Yung ating pumunta ng mayan. So, wilderness of Paran to Cadiz Barnea. So, dito sa wilderness of Paran, dito kinumisyon ni Moses sa mga Israelites para mag-survey in the entire land of promise. Okay? So, mula sa wilderness of Paran, okay, dito sila dumaan, pumunta dito sa Cadiz Barnea, and sa Cadiz Barnea, dito pumasok yung 12 spies, pabunta rito hanggang sa makakat sila doon sa upper Galilee. So, that's that's the route, mga kapatid. Okay? Para may idea kayo mamaya na hindi lang yung yung uh, yung nature, yung formation, yung inyong picture mamaya. Para pag nandun na kayo sa loop out mo mamaya, masasabi mo na, how could I imagine? The Israelites are wandering in this wilderness. So, try to imagine si Moses. Uh, he was so burdened kasi ang ginawa ng mga Israelites ay magmurmur, nagmagmurmur, <laughs> magreklamo, na magreklamo. Ayan, nang dahil dyan, pagdating lang dito sa Cadiz Barnea, dahil sa kanilang pagreklamo, sa kanilang uh, faithlessness and unbelief, kinonvert ng pag ng Diyos ang 40 days na ito, 40 years. So, kaya huwag kayong magmagmurmur sa araw na tulad na kami tanghali. Baka yung ating one day na paglalakbay ay maging one year na paglalakbay. <laughs> okay? So, ito yung uh, places na ating abukuta ng mayan. So, uh, uh, what is this? Uh, Northern region, Central region, and Southern region. So, what else? What we need to learn more. Okay? So, meron na tayo, na-divide na natin in the region. Tatlo. And Israel ngayon is also divided into three major cities. Three major cities. And then, number one, yung Haifa, sa, upper, sa, ano to, sa Northern region, ang Haifa ay tinatawag ngayon na Industrial or Technological Capital of Israel. Okay? Pangalawa, ang Tel Aviv, this is the largest city right now in all over Israel. At ang uh, Tel Aviv, this is known as the Business or Economic Center of Israel. So, kaya pagdating sa negosyo, Tel Aviv, mga kapatid. Okay? So, what else? Pagkatapos mo doon sa Tel Aviv, another major city, ano kaya yon? Okay, Jerusalem. So, Jerusalem, ang Jerusalem naman ay the educational and religious center of Israel. So, may tatlong major city, Haifa, Industrial and Technological Center, Tel Aviv is the business and economic center, and Jerusalem is the educational and religious center, or we can say, spiritual center of Israel. And basically, ang tawag din sa Jerusalem ay the epic center of the world. Lahat. Okay? The history from the past, the history at present, and the story, the history that will gonna, gonna unfold in the future. Ang focus ay walang iba kundi ang Jerusalem. Okay? And, uh, well, the Bible speaks of the coming Jerusalem, the new Jerusalem. Kaya talaga nga, it is the epic center of the world. And the Jews, they called Jerusalem as their eternal city. The eternal city of the Israelites or the Jews. So, ayan mga kapatid. Okay. So, ngayon. Okay, nasundan pa ba ninyo ako sa aking mga sinasabi? Opo. Kaya pa? Kaya pa. Okay, so we have so many things to discuss to you. One day to pack in and maybe a few days or weeks or a month to unpack all this information mga kapatid. 
So at least ano, I I'm hoping and praying that I could give you some guides para kapag nagbasa kayo ng Bible personally, you can imagine and you can internalize all these things that I'm 